Boys be brutally honest, what makes a girl attractive instantly? Instantly. Having a pretty face. It's the eyes that get me. Ick why but some eyes are like magnets for some reason. A smile is a smile, but the eyes let you know if it's sincere. If they're a certified forklift operator. Where's the nearest ring store? Just order from the Granger catalog. In truth a pretty face and a cute smile. After that, a confident woman is very attractive. Confidence trumps all of it for me. Some women just have a presence when they enter a room that demands attention and it's so attractive. You pick up on it even before you really get a good look at them. You do. But just as confidence is very attractive. Overconfidence is extremely ugly. There's a difference between knowing you're attractive. And thinking you're the most attractive person in the room. Arrogance requires advertising. Confidence speaks for itself. Premarital eye contact. How does it feel to live a life of sin? You know what I'm gonna miss after we are married. The premarital sex. Me like every ten minutes before my wife and I got married. Intense eye contact. Absolutely. I had a gorgeous red head make eye contact with me on the street in San Francisco in 1990 while in town for a bike race. We were walking past each other and she held my gaze the whole time and I felt like lightning was shooting through me. I swear I passed my soul mate. Sense of humor, clever wit. Sense of humor and wetter clit for me. A cunning linguist for me. I'm 53 and dated a fair bit over the years, now settled, I'll be honest there wasn't one thing that connects them all. Some it was their looks, some their figure or whatever made me think, it gats I'll give it a try, worst they can do is say no. But, after that initial meeting, it's all about personality. Looks fade with age but someone who can make your day better and make you laugh is a keeper. This is sweet and also the first time I've seen someone use, a gats, on Reddit LMAO. Brutal honesty I notice big titties before everything else. How the fuck did I have to scroll this far to find this? Whenever they listen to the conversation and contribute. There's a thing of waiting for your turn to talk, and then there's actually listening adding to the conversation. You should never just be waiting to talk, listening and understanding another person's point is important to me. Completely agree with you. Active listening is a rare quality, and more often than not, people are just waiting their turn to speak. Ass in leggings. Only 5% of women who wear yoga pants actually do yoga. And 100% of men don't give a fuck. As far as I can tell, their primary purpose is making airports more acceptable to be stuck in for hours. Having a good heart. Building people up rather than tearing them down. Yeah, people with a bad heart typically don't live very long. Humor. If a girl has a good sense of humor and can make you laugh and also can take a joke, it makes her more approachable and attractive. That's interesting. I read an article that says men and women both often put sense of humor high on our priority lists, but men usually mean that they want the woman to find their jokes funny, and women usually mean that they want the guy to make them laugh, I kind of doubt that though. I think we all prefer to find someone who makes us laugh and who also finds our jokes funny. But it was a magazine article, after all. Being naturally funny to the point was can just riff and both be cracking up. Met one girl in my life that would have me constantly dying so I invited her out to the bar since all our mutual friends were going out. We spent all night just cracking jokes and trolling men who would approach her. Man I never wanted to pop a ring on someone's finger faster I swear. Being emotionally vulnerable. It's not just guys that are cold in this world. Women can be fucking ruthless and mean for no logical reason, not just men. I'm not asking for your life's sob story on a first date, but I am attracted to people who treat themselves and others like humans, like emotional beings. None of us like being reserved and cold, but not many are brave slash courageous enough to risk being hurt at the possible reward of being connected to others. It's not the cold, stoic, tough people who are brave. They are often just traumatized and unwilling to process their stuff. It's the people who can get their shit handled and move on in the world with an even kinder view on others who are brave. We've all been hurt by someone. That doesn't mean the new people who stumble across you in their journey will do the same. Simultaneously, people you've only known for two weeks can treat you better than the people you've known for two decades. Time means nothing, 
and not everyone is guilty and worth hating on just because one, or a few, people screwed you over. Being kind is the only way to get connected. Being passionate about something. I love when a girl starts pouring out her thoughts on a favorite topic. Seeing the excitement behind her eyes and increase in animation is super cool. Smelling pretty. That will make me look around for who smells so damn nice. The way she talks, walks, and the way she thinks. Intelligence is sexy as fuck. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.